PhD man child. Now, I have to make an apology. I will admit when I'm wrong, sometimes when I'm not, fuck. The Recon Gista video, I predicted that uh, Build Fighters Try would come out soonish, and I thought maybe a couple of months because, you know, people talking about, you know, November, December, whatever. Fucking one week after Recon Gista, Build Fighters Try came out on YouTube Gundam Info channel. Now, this is fucking great. We've got two series uh, streaming and running at the same time. Uh, they're going to be compared to. Um, Build Fighters Try is obviously going to be the better series. Uh, it's probably going to irk off um, fucking Tamino tenfold. But, who the fuck cares? Um, as always, I've allowed... <coughs> Uh, fuck is sick as shit, fuck you. As um, I normally do, I let two episodes pass to get a feel for it. Also because I'm fucking busy and lazy and whatever. Uh, two episodes in, wow, the response that I've seen online, general people's excitement over it has been... Epic, it's been big, it's been reasonably annoying as well, uh... Fandoms tend to have a way of um, shitting me instead of uh, people looking up to modelers, modelers. You know, they'll look at a really good custom of a model kit online and go, How does Say do it? You know, the guy doesn't exist. He's a fucking cartoon. So is the models that appear in the cartoon. But, hey, fuck. They're cool and you have to admit it and you have to watch it and like it and all that. But you have to remember that shit is not fucking real, people. So, fucking... Uh. Alright, I'll go back in the show, but I'll, I'll, I'll rant about other things for sure. It's a time gap, seven years later. Uh, relatives and other people uh, that's related to the first generation cast have sort of um, irked in, and they're probably going to make further appearances down the line. Mr. Rowell is going through and doing what he does best, and pretty much the story is seven years after Say has uh, won the national championship, they're a memorial uh, club within the school that's trying to be shut down. Now, we've got this uh, big titty uh, girl that's trying to keep things alive and is being bullied by a scale modelling club of rivet counters. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty hilarious. She comes across some other dude who's a martial artist and uh, he's just happy to fight for her model kits, which is a bit weird, but um, whatever, and there's some further shit. Uh, the first episode, everyone just lost their shit that um, a dom disintegrated and explode and cast off its armor to expose uh, some sort of strike variant. And uh, people have no idea how the fuck this happened. They think it's the newest, greatest thing ever since sliced bread. Regardless that um, the cast-off system has happened a few times in Gundam history. But hey, let's not spoil that for anybody. Come to the uh, second episode. We're getting um, more energy, more surprises, more very heavily invested interest and about um, 12.7 memes per episode released. Now, interestingly enough, there is a lot more high energy and propulsion to the story right now. What I am very concerned about is that it may lose propulsion within 7 to 10 episodes and sort of have a slump for a period of time. People claim Build Fighters had a slump in a few episodes where it was shitty, but I thought it kept um, energy quite well with a few peaks of very epic battles. This one is trying to push it up a notch and just have it um, epic over a longer period of time. Nonetheless, I think this series is going to go very, very well. There's going to be a uh, reference fuck galore. There's going to be reference fuck galore from the first season. And you're going to get uh, so many appearances of so many characters and so many mobile suits and so many situations and so many references. All of you Gundam nerds will jizz your pants so hard. 3.5 liters of cum will go through the cuff of your leg. 
Nonetheless, uh, at this point, I am talking shit. I am absolutely getting sick of memes and jokes of Dom cast-off system, even though I wouldn't mind trying to pull it off on a model kit myself. I believe I can do that. Most people think it's impossible. It's not used magnets and polycaps, but whatever the fuck, don't let my more McConaughey man shit side interrupt, bother, fuck around this thing. Uh, pleased for the fandom. Just, you know, the, the waifu thing, the thing like, oh, she's a modeler, she's a girl, she's fucking cute. Like, drop that from 11 to fucking 2, that is annoying as a fuck. Um, these women do not exist, there are real women in the real world that model. Go talk to them. And also, if they don't, hell, a lot of people are influential. If someone likes you, you can convince them to try the hobby, it's good fucking fun. So, in the end, enjoy the series, do not nerd out too fucking hard, and let's enjoy it together. Peace the fuck out. This is the PhD manchild, uh, the really extremist part in the waifu people. Fuck you, fuck you Hobby Link Japan, and I'm gonna go masturbate to plastic or something. Catch you guys later.